Planet of the Fakes Four Families and Pig Star HH News. Deeply disturbing three Nashville police officers decommissioned after raiding wrong home. Three Nashville police officers decommissioned after raiding innocent families home, Nashville, 10. Three members of the Metro Nashville Police Department have been decommissioned after a search warrant was conducted at an innocent family's home. Police leaders say they are deeply disturbed by the body camera footage that shows officers, with guns drawn, breaching the door of a home at 6.05 a.m. Tuesday morning. A team of mostly undercover officers from West Precinct went to a home at the Edge Hill Apartments in connection to a teen suspected in vehicle burglaries. Police discovered after the raid that the teen didn't live there, and the innocent family held at gunpoint had lived in the apartment for four months. Officials said the officers involved were acting on a query of the MDA database and later learned that it hadn't been updated since November. Interim MNPD Chief John Drake said he's deeply disturbed by the body footage of the raid and believes the officers took shortcuts, saying the information was stale. Police said the officers who conducted the raid should have had fresh information before conducting the raid. There appears to have been a lack of confirming through other means, including surveillance or checking with human sources that the 16-year-old live there Chief Drake said. We have to be better than that, and I absolutely assure you, we will be moving forward. Three officers have since been decommissioned, Lt. Harrison Dooley, a 12-year veteran, Sergeant Jeff Brown, a 21-year veteran, and Officer Michael Richardson, a 5-year veteran. Lt. Harrison Dooley. Officer Michael Richardson. Asterisk a photo of SGT Jeff Brown was not provided due to his undercover work. The young woman who resided at the home tried to talk with officers before body camera footage shows officers breaching the door. Three Nashville police officers decommissioned after raiding innocent families' home. Wait, what's going on? The woman can be heard saying in the video. I've got kids in here. They were there just to seek evidence related to property crimes. Why was the door breached? Even as the mother approached the door? Chief Drake said. Why couldn't they given her a little more time at 6.05 a.m.? At that time, people could be asleep, need time to get dressed. For whatever reason, Chief Drake said that time wasn't provided. He said instead of de-escalating the situation, per training, these officers actually escalated the situation. That's not what our police department stands for, that's now what we represent, Chief Drake said. MNPD has since apologized to the woman who lives in the apartment and said they will continue outreach to her and her children. A full investigation is underway by the Office of Professional Accountability and Chief Drake said swift action has already been taken. No innocent family in Nashville, anywhere, should be subjected to what the mother and her two children went through on Tuesday morning, Chief Drake said. They were awakened by a team of officers who banged on their door and ultimately knocked it in with a ram. It appears that the mother was not given the proper time to come to the door before it was breached. It also appears that the West Precinct did not exercise due diligence in confirming that the 16-year-old who was the subject of the search warrant even lived at that apartment. In light of this scenario, we will be conducting a review of our search warrant processes and provide whatever updated training is necessary to help ensure that Tuesday's scenario is not repeated. After the botched raid, Chief Drake ordered that all applications for search warrants by an MNPD officer be reviewed approved at the deputy chief of police level, rather than by the employee's component supervisors. Chief Drake also said he reached out to the community oversight board to look into the incident. Body cam footage crucial. MNPD Chief Drake said not only is the body camera footage in this investigation deeply disturbing, but it's also crucial. The saga to bring body cameras to Nashville authorities involved funding delays and lasted more than two years. Mayor Cooper announced in June that body cameras would be fully deployed and were installed in July. At the time, Mayor Cooper said a new deal with Motorola allowed them to reduce the annual maintenance cost of $41 million to $2.1 million and reduce the staff needed to maintain the cameras. Now, police are using those body cameras in a full investigation into a botched search warrant at the expense of an innocent family. Something that Chief Drake says never should have happened. Chief Drake said the moment the body camera footage was discovered, leaders called an intimidate meeting to review and discuss. It's just pertinent to this investigation and it's going to be pertinent moving forward, Chief Drake said. The Community Oversight Board had long called for body and car cameras before their deployment. The community wanted us to have body cameras, so we show our rights and our wrongs, Chief Drake said. We do a lot of things right, but some things we get wrong as well and this is one. Repost. Full link. In the description. 
Like, follow, share, subscribe, and comment. Hit the bell. And if you have time, thank you very, very, very much. Go to www.